time to check in with Coindesk Global Policy Regulation Managing Editor Nick Day, who's also the editor of Coindesk's State of Crypto newsletter. Good morning, Nick. So there's a report out that U.S. regulators are exploring how banks could hold crypto assets, according to Reuters. Do we have any details on this? Yeah, so Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation Chairwoman Yelena McWilliams gave a speech yesterday at Money 2020, as well as, or sorry, that might have been a Monday, but uh, she also spoke to Reuters, basically saying that the FDIC, which insures uh, customer deposits on federally regulated banks, uh, is looking at how banks might be able to uh, custody and handle cryptocurrency uh, you know, deposits for their customers. And, you know, this kind of seems related to the interagency sprint work that we've seen with a lot of the federal banking regulators, the Fed, the Office of the Control of the Currency, and the FDIC. Uh, you know, they've been working on this for a couple of months. Um, they announced it in the uh, late spring, early summer. So, yeah, it, is, it just kind of feels like an evolution of what we saw last year when Brian Brooks was heading up the OCC. Do we know if the FDIC inserted themselves into this whole regulatory uh, uh grab uh grab fest or is it uh that they were invited to do so well as i said back in the you know late spring early summer uh occ acting comptroller michael sue announced that there would be a interagency sprint team so it does feel like this is a very collaborative effort all of the agencies got together and you know they've been looking at this as to you know the specific actions being taken here you know the fdic does have a uh you know specific scope of what it's allowed to do so if Chair McWilliams is saying, you know, this is part of the sprint, then, you know, it suggests that all of these agencies are on board. If she's saying it as, you know, purely as the FDIC chair, then, uh, you know, it might actually take a little bit longer for us to see banks actually get any kind of guidance on this. Because again, the FDIC has a, you know, a very specific scope as far as regulating these banks. Uh, Nick, I know we talked about this a little bit earlier, um, but just for people who are not paying attention, um, could you just tell us a little bit about the stablecoin report that's coming, um, just what we know about it and what the significance of it is? Yeah, so it seems to be kind of uh, taking a two-track process. The first is that um, it's expected to announce that the Biden administration wants Congress to enact a law that would treat stablecoin issuers like banks, you know, basically subjecting them to very specific reporting requirements, uh, probably uh, would subject them to specific uh, reserve holding requirements and auditing. Uh, the other track is it might ask the Financial Stability Oversight Council to step in if Congress doesn't act, which my understanding is no one really wants this to happen. You know, the Treasury Department doesn't really want this to happen. Congress certainly doesn't want this to happen. So that might be kind of you know the carrot if the stick of letting Congress do its own thing doesn't work. 